Hey guys, Brent Rainbow here from Tomorrow Stars Basketball. Welcome back to another skills training session. In this episode, we're going to be working on an advanced dribbling drill, something a little bit untraditional, something a little bit more outside the box. And that's what we love about these private training sessions online, that you get a chance to access me and these types of uh, fundamentals and skill work that are going to really, really improve not only your basketball training, but your on-court performance. Okay? This involves, of course, a basketball, a table tennis bat, and a table tennis ball. You're going to probably need a few of these. Um, what we're going to be working on here is multitasking, uh, our opposite hand, our, our strong hand, um, doing three things, four things at once, which is very, very important when you're playing this game. Uh, similar to when you're in a game, the, the coach gives you a few instructions, you, you're running offense, you've got to cut, you've got to set a screen, you've got to remember the plays, and remember who you're guarding, all types of things, that's your basketball IQ. So we are going to start with a, our stance, a dribble in our back position. I'm going to be using my left hand for this. Uh, with your table tennis bat, what we want to do here to get it going is I start with my thumb on the tennis ball. It's a little bit fiddly to sort of get going, but once you get a rhythm, uh, once you get your confidence up with this, this is actually a really cool drill, and your friends are going to be super impressed when you show them this. So, again, triple threat stands. We've got our left hand dribbling. What I'm going to start with here is just a little tap of the tennis ball on top of my bat. I want to try and keep my basketball going as fast as I can. This is called a pound ball, right? You can see this is nice and comfortable right there and I've got a nice rhythm as I'm dribbling that basketball at the same time three four things at once there okay very very good guys get that going remember to use both sides so I'm using my right hand my strong hand for the table tennis and my weak hand for the basketball you can switch that up and do both sides continuing to push and, and um, challenge you guys. So let's go straight into another level uh, immediately here. This one you're gonna be working on, you can see my bat is black and red, okay? Uh, we're gonna be coordinating in both sides here, black tap, red tap, black tap. Let's have a look at this one. For you all you players. Black, red, black, red. Let's set some targets here for you guys. If you can do 50 taps in a row on the table tennis uh, bat, just one side, you are at a domestic level. Okay? If you can do 100 consistent taps without making a mistake, without the table tennis ball hitting the floor, 100 in a row, you are now a rep player. If you can do 200 or more consistently in a row without making a mistake, you are now approaching your NBL one level, your ABA level, your semi-pro professional level. And if you can do 300 or more in a row, one, two, three, four, and so on, all the way through to 300 plus, you are now approaching the pro level, the NBA level, the NBL levels, Steph Curry, Kyrie Irving, Chris Paul, those types of players, all right? So that is 300 plus without making a mistake. As I said, a little bit untraditional for you guys, a little bit fiddly, but stick with that. It's gonna take a lot of practice, a few hours of mastering this, and before you know it, uh, you're gonna be a fantastic basketball dribbler. Okay, keep up the good work, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.